today we're going to talk to a video that left me pretty bloody speechless when I saw it earlier on in the day and it does in fact relate to Kurt's card care as you probably saw in my thumbnail and whilst I've talked to, to Kurt you know Kurt's card care many times on this channel in the past and shared my thoughts around why I don't like it I want to ask you guys a question in this video in particular I want to understand whether or not you'd be okay with what I'm about to show you now I've beat a dead horse with Kurt many times I don't like it I've said that you know, countless times, but we're going to try and do something a little bit differently today. Now, this is the video in particular that will play in a second that I saw earlier on today, Australian time, and it is, you know, an optic card that Kurt basically had in order to try some old techniques in order to remove these dents that he put in the card himself. He's sort of rolling the container that he sells his wax within on the back of the card. It basically puts some indents in there and, you know, left me pretty speechless with what it is you're about to see because what he essentially does is goes ahead and fills a glass container with his cleaning solution that he also sells and soaks the card in there for 30 minutes. And, you know, surprisingly, the dents disappear after 30 minutes. Kurt himself was quite surprised. He then tried it on some other cards, including, including some cards with autos that I'll show you in a second. But this is sort of where my question goes, right? Because the card sits in there for 30 minutes. And my concern, you know, has always been with, you know, services like this and, you know, people doing stuff like this is sort of, what is the long-term damage to the card going to be? And, you know, one of the concerns that I have as well is that people do stuff like this and then often don't disclose it, right? They'll do it, they'll get a PSA 10, they'll hide the serial number. They're trying to be, you know, a little bit disingenuous about the whole process. And my position has always been, well, if you're not telling people about what you've just done to a card, that almost tells you all you need to know because you know if you told them, you basically lose your premium for that PSA 10 immediately. And, and my messaging has always been that if you want to use this, please be transparent with it, right? I'm not going to tell people what they can and can't do, but my only request is if you're doing it, tell the person who's buying it because they deserve to know. But that's sort of where my question goes right now. You've just seen, you know, this card basically soak for 30 minutes in this cleaning solution, in this substance, in this chemical, and it basically removes the dents. If Kurt or others did this and then told you they did this, would you be okay with owning that card in your collection? And I shared this with a few friends when I first saw this video, and this question is actually from Steve Splendor, who said, Daniel, you should you know, do a poll on the situation and understand whether or not people are comfortable with this. Because like I said, I've beat a dead horse many times with Kurt's card care in the past. I've just shared you again, my grievances with the whole situation. But I want to understand you guys, are you okay, you know, number one, doing this yourself? And if you are, are you going to disclose it? And then number two, if somebody told you that they did this, would you be okay buying that card? And I want to know why, whether you're for it or against it, please tell me why down in the comments below because it'd be good you know, to get a better understanding. Me personally, like I said, I don't like it for the reasons that I just said. I think I mentioned as well that we don't know what's going to happen to the card long term, especially with something like this where a card is literally soaking in a liquid. And whilst this is a plastic optic card, Prism would be the same as would you know, Spectra and Select and all that sort of stuff. You know, Is the liquid soaking in there and is it going to create mold or something along those lines in a few years' time? And that's why I think People need to be disclosing this sort of stuff, but I want to understand that from you guys as well. But what Kurt then went on and did was a few more attempts at trying to remove these dents. And you can sort of see here, there's a Larry Bird. They're all basically, you know, plastic cards that I just mentioned, things like Prism, Spectra, et cetera. Um, you've got a Prism one over here of Quinton Grimes. Um, and they're basically disappearing, which is pretty wild. But the last one is actually interesting because... It is a, a Josh Giddy card number one, but it's an autograph card and you can sort of see the text is slightly cut off in, in my recording, but it says data, it's a two hour soak, no negative effects on the sticker or the auto, which is pretty well to me that there's no damage to the auto itself. The auto didn't disappear or anything like that. But again, would you be okay owning a card that's soaked in this liquid for two hours um, that could you know damage the card long term or could not, but basically that's, that's what I want to understand. It's also pretty wild that this sort of stuff you know, works, but it sort of is what it is. And and like I said, I've been very judgmental on services like this in the past. My position still remains the same, but I want to understand from you guys, like I've repeated myself many times now, would you be okay buying that if somebody told you they did that? And like I said, Steve told me to do a poll. I'm not going to do a poll, do a video instead. I had my weekly news video planned for today, but I haven't had enough time to record that. So you'll see that um, in a few hours. I was basically, not a few hours, a few days, um, I was basically in the yard the whole day doing some housework, doing gurning and um, pressure washing and all that kind of stuff, mowed the lawn. So I'm pretty cooked. The weather was mental today in Sydney, very hot. That's why I haven't had the chance to do my news video. This one's much quicker for me to talk to. And it's also the reason why I'm mumbling like a freaking idiot because I'm basically cooked 
Um, I'm fried is essentially what I'm saying. You guys, you're picking that up right now because I'm talking like an absolute idiot. But like I said, let me know your thoughts on that. Let me know whether you'd buy it, why, whether you wouldn't buy it, why. Let's have some discourse like we have on this channel all the time. Get some friendly debate going in the comments because I want to understand the mindset of the wider community, right? Because you look at social media and so many people are for it. And I've talked to that you know, point as well. So many people seem to be okay with this. And I'll close by repeating myself again. I've repeated myself five or six times now. You can do whatever you want. Nobody's going to you know, force you to do things. But the question would be, please, if you're going to do it, at least... At least disclose it, guys, because, um, you know, that's a big red flag in my opinion. And if you've got that uneasy feeling in your stomach of why you don't want to tell someone, that, again, tells you all you need to know. Because the question always comes back to, would you be okay, even though you're okay to do it yourself to maximize your profits, would you be okay for somebody to do it and then not tell you? And then you buy that PSA 10, you pay that premium for that PSA 10, and then all of a sudden, in two, three years' time, that card is damaged as a result. Would you be okay not knowing that? Would you be furious at the person? Personally, I would be, but again, I want to hear your opinion, and I can't recall if I already mentioned, but um, back to the, the video from Kurt himself, right? That card soaks for 30 minutes, two hours, and it comes back a PSA 10. Would you be okay paying the PSA 10 price for that card, or would, or would you want to pay less, right? That's the other question that I have for you guys. So, you know, please share them down in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.